Hi guys, it's Mary. I have been busy this week um, getting ready for a craft show and recuperating from last weekend's Crop and Create uh, three-day virtual crop that I went to. And I had posted a video before showing um, everything that, all the goodies that had come in the box. And so I wanted to follow up with showing you the finished and at times semi-finished projects from the class. Um, and then give you my review on the event. So um, there were six main classes, three on Saturday and three on Sunday. On Friday, there was a marketplace uh, that we could do shopping and uh, with the different various sponsors and um, companies that um, taught the class. Um, and then we also, there was four, I believe, mini classes, um, two on Saturday and two on Sunday. And then there was a mini class on um, Friday night. Um, and so that mini class was taught by Kathy Z, Kathy Zelsky, and we used a special set, and I believe, if I recall, they were saying that uh, Becky Moore designed this for um, um, for the event, and it since it was um, world card making, um, she did a um, stamp and then the matching dies, and so the card. If you're familiar with Kathy Z, she always has very clean looking cards. Um, and so this is the card that we made. Um, and it's, it's just so pretty. And so she just had us do um, stamp, you know, with a Versa mark and then heat embossed. And hopefully you can pick up that. And then we just did a rainbow of blending and then uh, sending love across the miles. We uh, did in white embossing um, as opposed to the clear embossing up here. So I thought it um, was a really, really pretty um, card after we got done. And so that was our mini uh, class on Friday night. So I was quite pleased with that one. And then we started, let me get the book out. We started on Saturday with Gina Kay. And I was familiar with Gina Kay, but I hadn't really, I bought one of her uh, newer sets, um, but I hadn't, wasn't really familiar with her style and, and everything. And um, I absolutely loved it. Let me, let me get everything out to show you. So from her company, we got her polymer stamps um, with this background friend, uh, butterfly, the flowers, and then the kind of like a um, wild, uh, what are those called? Pompous grass type thing. Um, anyway, and so she also gave us a set of dyes. Um, and her masking magic because we did masking. And let me see what I did to the guys. I just have them. I need my them. Or not. Oh, they're there. 
All right, so um, we did an oval, the four pane window, a uh, friend, and then a rectangle and um, two of the little frames for words. So from that, we made, these are just card fronts. I haven't put them on uh, cards yet. So we made this one um, with the masking magic uh, we cut from the frame. And then from the oval, we made this one. This is just so pretty. So, so pretty. And then with the butterfly, we did this one. And we did the masking magic on the sides. And this one, we cut the masking magic, uh, uh, the oval out of the masking magic. And then we did this one and she had us take the masking magic and tear and then place them. And then we did the, the background and then stamped with this. Um, I really enjoyed her class. I really enjoy um, the way she teaches. And each of the instructors, the main instructors gave on Friday night a meet and greet. Um, and hers was really interesting because she, you know, they all told us how they got involved in in card making, stamping, some of them, like Gina K, have their own, uh, sell their own product. They design their own um, things. Um, and then, but she talked a lot about um, social media and I found it very interesting. Um, so it was a very good class and I love the cards. So that was Gina K. And then we had a mini class with Honeybee, but I did not do that project, so I'm not, I'm not showing that one. Um, and then we did um, a class with Amy Yingling, who owns the stamp market, and Hers was interesting. Um, it was a bit, bit chaotic. Um, so we got the set of dies and a set of stamps. And we, um, each of them, each of the teachers had given us uh, or told us, uh, given us homework to do. Um, we, she realized that she, we should have done more homework uh, because we never got to the fourth um, card. But we made um, um, this card front. And then um, this was fun because... Um, we cut this out and then she's really into rainbow colors and uh, paper piercing. And that's using um, little tiny strips of paper. Um, like that. So that was interesting. And so this is going to I haven't finished this, but the card will end up with these little outer hearts. I can get it to separate here. And then with um thank you. And then this card. And then these little hearts. But I haven't, like I said, glued it back on yet. So, so that was interesting. I've never um, done the strips and it was so simple and it's 
so pretty and so effective when you when you get it done. Um, she also um, we cut all the leaves and colored them. Oh, and there's the card for this project that I have not finished that one. Um, and then this is the project that we didn't get to and it's stamping and then using um, stencil paste. So, so that was uh, interesting. And um, Becky Moore, I forgot, Becky Moore um, taught us this card, and this was all about masking, and this was another die that she, and a stamp that she had um, done. And then she uh, showed us how to, to do the masking and get the balloons uh, colored one on top of each other. So that was fun. And it turned out really cute. Seemed like a lot of work though, I have to tell you. With the taking and then putting back and then piecing. So, um, but it looks good in the end, so. So that was Becky Moore. And then Jen Shirkus from Lawn Fawn taught a, a class, but it was winter and Christmas. And I think I've mentioned this, I'm over Christmas. Um, I've got so much Christmas stuff. I didn't need any more uh, Christmas cards. So I just ended up um, using her techniques for um, uh, making some ba backgrounds. So, I think this one turned out the best. So, we used um, Von Fawn's uh, little cube inks um, for that that we got in the um, in the goodie box. Um, they also had a stamp set and die set, but it was snowflakes, and like I said, I wasn't all about the Christmas, so so that was that one. And then Kathy Z on Sunday uh, taught us a class using the uh, layered flowers and this um, die. And I will show you. I haven't put everything together yet because. But it seemed like it was going to be tedious, but in fact it wasn't. And so we cut out the die. And then, <laughs> excuse, excuse me, we cut out the die in white, and then we cut out the die in the other three colors. And then we paper pieced all the little colors um, back in. And I cut um, one of the ladies that uh, did the class uh, that I know, she had suggested using um, uh, what is it called? Stick it. Um, on the back and attaching it to the card and then that way you didn't have to glue everything in. It was already there and all you had to do is press it in and it stuck and it was a godsend. It made it so much easier than having to glue every little piece. Oops. So, so that was the paper piercing, piecing part. And then we did um, let me show you the, uh, 
a layered die. And so each one used, we used the pink on this one and then lined up in these little arrows are where you line up and then did the leaves. And I did that on this one too, but I haven't put a sentiment. They had a lot of things that were grateful and thank you. And I do a, a lot of cards thinking of you and hellos. So um, that's why I didn't put finish putting it together because I need to uh, use something else for the sentiment. So, so she is always so much fun. Um, I watch her videos on YouTube, um, and um, but it was nice to be able to uh, do a class with her live. And some of the classes were taped. They weren't live, but after each class, there was a live um, on Facebook uh, hour with each uh, teacher um, so that you could ask them questions about the project or just ask them, you know, general questions. So that was nice. So after Kathy Z was my second favorite class, and I have not finished these um, because I want to make shaker cards out of them, but it was Pink Fresh with Leah Lawson, and um, they use stencils, six layers of stencils, um, and then cut um, the die to cut the, the inside out. So this is one of them that we did in this color, and then we did one in this color, and then we did one in rainbow, which is my favorite. And each stencil puts a different layer on. Um, and it's so much easier than stamping and coloring with markers. I'm in love with uh, the layered stencils. Um, so, like I said, I did not make uh, any cards out of them because I want them to be um, shaker cards. So, I thought they turned out really, really pretty. But I will show you um, her cards. And so... She did one that said celebrate, one that did thanks, and then one that said hello. And what she ended up doing is she cut this one in half and just used it on a small uh, A2 card. So I thought that was uh, impressive. I would never have thought to do that. Um, so... Um, I really, really enjoyed this class. However, it did make me crazy because she had us do all three. She had us line up all three and then do layer one on each one. And so we had to keep swapping out the colors. And somewhere along the line, I did the wrong color on the this flower. Or maybe this one. I don't know. I got confused somewhere along the line. Um, so my plan is when I do this again, I'll just do one at a time and go through the six um, different um, panels, six different stencils on one panel each instead of doing all three at the same time. Especially since I had to change the colors 
from the Pink Fresh colors to what I had uh, to use. So, but it did turn out really, really nice. And I was very happy with it. So, um, and then one of our mini classes uh, was through Brutus Monroe. And I have never used anything uh, that they've done, uh, any of their products before. But so they had this tree of kindness and then the dye and then um, a stencil to go with everything. And so we did one card where we cut out the the tree and then we uh, made multiple layers so that it had depth and then stamped uh, on it and then um, this is says thank you for being my friend and we did I did that in um, gold embossing and then the second card we ended up stamping the tree and the, the words and then we uh, used the stencil and then to color I laid it over and then to add the color and then this one says you're one of a kind and he was funny um, it, it, because all of these little little leaves. Um, he said when he does little uh, stamps like this, he just puts his finger on them and then puts it in the ink. And so that's what we did. So we had like different colors and different ones and we just went around and stamped them and it worked just as good, if not better than a little acrylic block because you just uh, didn't have to worry about, you know, getting the block on and getting ink on the block and possibly on your card. So I thought that was a neat tip. It was pretty funny. So um, I really like this um, and I'll be using it again because it's, it's really different than anything that I have or that I've seen. So, so that was Brutus Monroe, and then we had a mini class and that was through L Studio and they gave us this stamp and then we made this card and another card which I have not finished so this is another one that took a while because you had to line up the the ink in the stars, I ended up doing it twice because the first time it didn't work. So that was with uh, L Studio and Megan Andrew. So that was that one. And then we had another one from Hero Arts, but I have not done anything. And that they gave us this stamp set. Thank you for being an amazing friend. And then it's got all the different person, partner, father, teacher, hero, ally, doctor, um, so that you can make thank you cards. So that's got some nice, oh, uh, flowers and, and things to go with it. So that's a nice, nice big set from Hero Arts. 
And then there was a class that I did not do. And that was another, that was the last class of the day. And by then, I was pretty exhausted um, by the end of the Sunday. But it was another Christmas one, and I don't need Christmas, so I did not do it. But it was um, Vicki Booten using um, doodle bug designs. And so um, they made uh, three cards. I will probably end up making all of them in a, a birthday or a hello and not not a holiday or Christmas, so. Um, but that was it. So the days went long and started early for us on the West Coast because they're on the East Coast in Canada. And so the days started at 7 and 7.45 in the morning and then went till like 5 o'clock every night um but it was a lot of fun and um you had a lot of product even though i've been doing this and my friends have been doing this uh for a long time we all still learn some new things um there were some light bulb moments it was like oh my gosh why didn't i ever think of that type thing um, and by the time it was over and we recuperated, um, it was very energizing, um, you know, as far as creativity and listening to these people and, uh, talk and, um, being able to have a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, type of thing with being able to ask them questions live, um, you know, the, most of them are all on YouTube and they have, you know, do their thing there. But to be able to interact with them and ask questions and um, have that kind of back and forth, I think, was well worth um, the time and the money. Um I think this three day one was like 200 and something, but with all the product and all the time and everything, I think it's well worth it. I've, uh, I had already signed up for their one day holiday one, which is November 20th. So I'll let you know how that one goes, but, um, they'll be opening the spring, uh, one in March for March. And I'm definitely going to do that because I think you get uh, well worth the amount of money and product, but you get so much information and so much to learn, and it just really gets your creativity, your juices flowing. So I highly recommend it. If you can, you're interested and you can do one uh, day, a uh, day one or you know, start off small with a day one and, you know, work your way, if you like it, to a three-day one. Um, I think uh, there's two in November that are one-day ones, but I think they're both sold out. But I'm not sure. But it's under uh, Scrapbook and Cards Today's website. Um, and they have all their events there. And their events are called Crop and Create. I guess before COVID, they were doing them in person across Canada. And now they've, this year, they started doing them virtual. And there were 2,400 people from around the world at this one. So that was fun. Um, anyway, so that's it. Um, like I said, um, I had a great time and I think it was well worth it. I love um, all the projects. Um, I love all the goodies that we got. And um, and we got discounts uh, for all of the um, different companies uh, before. Um, 
and right after um, so that we could if we saw something we like we could buy it at a discount so that was that was a nice uh, plus so anyway so that is it for this time um as always i thank you for taking the time to watch um i appreciate you guys um if you're a subscriber i appreciate you subscribing um if you've thought about it um please do subscribe and um that's it so until the next one stay safe and well and happy crafting see you later bye